my dear students this was the most confusing question of 2024 neat it's a question of prism of ray optics now let me uh, make you a super simple clear clear explanation of this concept here now let us see here this is a question let us see what is the question here so there is a prism you can consider this is a prism a b c okay and light ray is entering into the prism these are the normals drawn n1 and n2 so definitely these normals are making 90 degrees with these sides here no these are making 90 degrees and in the problem it is given that it is 90 degrees here this corner a is 90 degrees so i have taken it as 90 degrees here and it is said in the problem that this line which is said to be p q r and s see this qp and base are parallel it is given in the problem itself is it so it is given here now so from this it is understood that this is 90 this is also 90 this is 90 means this is going to be 90 because some of all the angles in a quadrilateral are going to be 360 so therefore this is also 90 now how are you going to create a super simple shortcut for this problem let me discuss about that so to understand this one first of all you have to apply the snell's law for this side and that side also so this is 90 means this is 90 then what is this r r can be considered as 90 minus c okay because you all know r plus c plus 90 is equal to 180 degrees this said to be some of the angles in a triangle is going to be 180 degrees so r plus c plus 90 is 180 that means r plus c is 180 minus 90 is again going to be 90 so r is nothing but 90 minus c so r is nothing but 90 minus c i am going to apply snell's law here so this is going to be 90 minus c so if i apply the snell's law in the first case uh, this is theta and this is 90 minus c sin theta is equal to sin 90 minus c sin 90 minus c here therefore mu is equal to sin theta by cos c here so we got this equation from the first side set we a b now from the other side you will be getting mu is equal to if you apply here uh, refract uh, re, i mean uh, snell's law here you will be getting sin 90 this is sin 90 and this is c which is said to be sin c this is angle of incidence angle of refraction here 90 is incident refraction is said to be a c according to the concept of critical angle so light ray is passing in this direction and grazing along the side ac it is grazing according to the problem grazing means definitely with the normal it is making 90 degrees now i have applied the snell's law in this case also that means you'll be getting how much mu is equal to 1 by sin c that means sin c is equal to 1 by mu which is reciprocal of that i am drawing one triangle here this is c and sin c is 1 by mu means opposite side is 1 and hypotenuse is mu that means this is going to be how much it is uh, applying pythagoras theorem it is going to be mu square minus 1 okay mu square minus 1 you will get it. let us see what is going to happen now. so let me remove this uh, question here after afterwards we can take this question so now here this is getting now we are getting two equations let us discuss about these two equations now so mu means 1 by sin c and sin theta by cos c okay we will draw uh, write the two equations now uh, that means sin theta by cos c this side and that side 1 by sin c okay so what are you going to understand from this you will understand that you can consider here sin theta is equal to cos c by sin c that means sin theta is equal to how much it is going to be cot c so sin theta is equal to cot c from this what is the meaning of cot c tan c means opposite by adjacent cot c means adjacent by opposite that means you will be writing mu square minus 1 mu square minus 1 squaring on both sides will be getting how much mu square minus 1 is equal to sin square theta so mu square is equal to sin square theta plus 1 therefore mu is equal to square root of you can just interchange the terms 1 plus sin square theta so with this it is clear that 
your shortcut formula is ready now. You can write, you can use this as a shortcut formula to solve this problem. So you just uh, simply apply this formula and get the answer. That is square root of 1 plus sine square theta is sine 30. Sine, uh, sine square 30 degrees, which is nothing but 1 plus sine 30 is 1 by 2. Square means it is going to be 1 by 4. Therefore, you will be getting root 5 by 2 as your answer. Okay, so this is the answer here, root 5 by 2, okay. So, root 5 by 2 is your answer, because you will be getting the simplification like this, 1 plus 1 by 4, which is root 5 by 4, uh, two, uh, root 4 is nothing but 2 here. So, finally, we getting this answer. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.